what's up youtube it's your girl honeybee back to deliver another daily buzz for you guys welcome to my new subscribers welcome back to my returning subscribers my day ones those of you who have been rocking with me from the start i appreciate you guys also very much cross watchers you are welcome here as well um i heard snoopy like snooper so if you just so happen to be snooping on this channel for whatever reason or another you are welcome here as well tell a friend to tell a friend in fact um i do offer personal readings you guys you guys goddesses and gods if you're interested in any personal check the description box down below my contact information is listed there um if you're interested in donating to our channel that information is also listed in the description box um thank you for the like share subscribe comment you guys anytime you interact with our videos it um you know that that's a way of letting youtube know that you are interested in what i'm offering and it pushes our content out into the algorithm and that's how we grow our channel you guys um so i appreciate you guys so very much i'm gonna go ahead and tap into the energy for today you guys i'm going to get the daily buzz going for you guys see what spirit wants us to know what we need to be made aware of um cast the white bubble of protection around my colony um, around my tribe, around my bees, keep myself protected as I deliver these messages, keep my colony protected as they receive these messages. Let's go ahead uh, and clear the energy real quick. What is this I'm smelling? So I'm smelling something, smelling something. I don't know what exactly the smell is. Um, I can't make out what it is, but maybe at this time your spiritual gifts are are heightened. Um, I don't know why I heard nausea, so maybe some of you may be pregnant or you may be becoming pregnant or you just gave birth, so congratulations. If this is not a literal pregnancy, you guys, this may be you um, pregnant with new ideas. You're birthing something new. So let's tap into the messages. Look, here we go. Under the deck. Under the deck. Transformation. A fresh new way of living emerges. So some of you are changing the way you go about doing things your day to day. You may be implementing new eating cycles. So your di diet may be changing. You may be changing your routine. Um, you may be implementing some new skincare um, products or routine into your daily. Or you just may be transforming the way you do day to day. And what I mean by you may be limiting um, who you give your access to. What you allow. You know. Um, like say for instance. Well this is random. So say for instance you know everyone comes to your house to hang out or you're always the person that people call when you're in need i feel like you're going to be limiting access um of who you let into your spaces you're going to be more secluded in your energy um i'm hearing someone say well you know next time before you come over can you give me a heads up call or text first like you know just to see what i'm doing or if i'm interested in engaging in you know conversation or having company or of the sort like you i just feel like you're limiting limiting um who has access to you you're being very picky with your energy you're setting up firm, firm firm okay firm boundaries so also with the phone like you may be um silencing group chats or using your do not disturb more often or um putting people on silent those that disturb your energy for some of you this may be family um, this may be friends or this may be friends that turn to family, right? So give me the message of spirit. What is, what kind of energy is buzzing around my collective at this time? What do we need to know? It says mystical healer. Healing energy flows through you. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, you're being one-on-one -on -one with yourself. Um, you're healing yourself. Some of you may be literal heal healers or mystic mystics. That's goddess energy. Like, you're taking time out to to better yourself right to heal yourself right at this time you have a very healing energy i also hear that you may be very intuitive with purple purple is prevalent here these cards are purple this is purple the candle is purple this deck here is purple so they're wanting you to follow your intuition at this time um if you if you know if you don't have the energy for it if you're 
you're not up for doing certain things, it's okay to say no. You know, that's a part of healing, right? You have to heal yourself. The healer, the healer heals herself. Energy. <laughs> Healing energy flows through you. So, like, you have the power to heal people, whether it be, um, you know, some of you may be nurses or you may be in school for nursing or, you know, it's something about your hands. You have healing hands. You have healing energy, right? What else? You Not only can you heal others, but you have the, the power to heal yourself. What else, Spirit? What else? Let me see. Overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything. Yeah, and for, I feel like for a lot of you, um, you may be one, you had people pleasing tendencies, so it would be hard for you to set boundaries, um, when it came to people, especially people that you love, people that you, that you were close to, people that you had a lot of love for, um, this could be people, places, or things, you know, some of you may be slacking down on, you know, like, just say, going out, or, you know, being in clubs, like, you're finding other, other things to do, other ways of, um, enjoying your own company. I, I feel a, a heavy energy of solitude, like you being in solitude and hermit mode right at this time. Um, but you are, you're overcoming some things, like you're overcoming um, the need to be available to people all, all at once. It says infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. You see, and once you limit things, you set boundaries, you put firm boundaries in place, it's more like an out, a out with the old, in with the new type of uh, situation. Type of energy, I'm sorry. It's, it's almost like the energy of you're making space for your fruit to, to for your fruit to come in for your abundance to pour in it says choosing your path all is possible watching clouds lie back rest and relax yeah hermit mode definitely in solitude energy um solitude being in solitude will bring you clarity clarity you know i'm not saying you have to um on her ride did i heard this own like this own uh, the people that you had in your life, but I feel like at this time you're ready to venture for venture forward and go on a great adventure. You're ready to try new things, you know. And when oftentimes when you do certain things, it requires you. Um, I'm hearing in this in this season, elevation requires separation, so it's going to require you to step away from certain people, certain places, certain things, certain a certain mind frame. Um, they want you to lie back, rest, and relax. That, like I said, that's four swords. That's healing energy. Anything is possible. You're choosing your path. You're forging a path ahead for your taking on this great adventure because your your abundance is infinite. Infinite. It's owed to you, but it's it's a matter of overcoming certain obstacle obstacles, healing from certain things, letting go, like accept, accepting things for what they're what they really are. You see, introspection is here. Introspection is here again in solitude, shadow work, inner changes. You're you're making changes inwardly. Um, it says here hiding, they are hiding from you out of fear of what might happen, not ready to face the consequences, ashamed, unsure, guarding themselves, scared. So some of you, you guys, you may be dealing with an energy or someone, this may be your person, romantic or doesn't have to be, but you have, um, while you're doing serious introspection, you have someone that's hiding in the shadows. You know, when they say, when people know they wronged you they'll stay away from you right um so they're ashamed at this time they're afraid to come towards you not knowing what it is that you will say but trust me these people know that you are a healer like you have the power to heal yourself you you are one that does serious introspection work so these people at this time don't know exactly what it is that you're thinking of them this is why they're um they're kind of they're hesitant on approaching you i feel like energy of watching from afar like hiding in the shadows. I don't know why I was prompted to pull the haters exposed deck. So be careful that these people are sending you. Um, they might be sending you evil eye at this time. And it's so crazy, you know, because when people wrong you, like instead of apologizing or making amends or accepting accountability, they will act as though you did them something, right? This this is the type of energy that I'm feeling. What else, spirit? Someone is hiding out though. Someone is hiding out. Someone is, they're hiding out. And not only are they ashamed because they know that they've done something wrong, but they're thinking about it heavily, right? Now that you're in solitude away from them. It says, 
heartbreak her confidence using sex as a weapon so this may be a partner that you were involved with right this person is doing some introspection at this time this person is ashamed of something they're ashamed of something they're thinking about something that they did and this person they're they're feeling bad about it right but it's like this person will still even if you see them they'll act as though they're unfazed they're they're unbothered but this this is this person is very arrogant I feel like one of the obstacles that you had to overcome was healing from this person. This type of energy. These type of people. I'm hearing people. Like I'm hearing is more than one. So this is not singular to a romantic situation. It could be it could be anyone. Family, friends, romance, romance. It says too many too many rules, perfectionism, limits. So I feel like this person had um You may be the type of person that you know like you you believed in being a bigger person right but you feel as though every time you be the bigger person being i don't know y'all but to me after a while being a bigger person uh, sounds a lot like accepting the disrespect you know so um i'm still a work in progress y'all so i the question i pose is if you always have to be the bigger person maybe you need to ask yourself why you keep surrounding yourself with such small people it's like you're limiting yourself. Um, your loyalty is, is what's keeping you tied to, to these people, to this type of behavior is what I'm hearing. What else? Freedom. It says single, boundless, free spirit, independence. So like I said, your loyalty to these people, these persons, places, or things, this person, if this is romantic, um, your your loyalty is what's keeping you bound. bound bound is 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 keeping you um quote unquote quote in place by playing by the rule book it book is spirit is saying it's time for you to burn the rule book you don't you cannot thrive in a comfort zone right it requires you to step out on faith it requires you to tap into this free spirited energy that you possess it requires you to be infinite it requires you to be like this phoenix and rise is like resurrection like remembering who you are there's a lot of green here there's a lot of purple here again so they want you to follow your and get grounded and follow your intuition like be grounded in who you are and what you know to be true it says you're rising stronger and wiser revealing the greatest version of you born to a new authentic life i feel like people Whoever it is that you separated yourself from, this could be current energy, past energy. You have a lot of people around you that's watching you. Like your your success, your abundance that you're going to be reaping. Like this newfound freedom, this free spirited attitude that you're have having is going to bother a lot of people. Like you have a lot of people watching you, um, lurking, right? Like snooping. Uh, that what I channeled earlier in the in the intro. Like snooping around. Um, my nose is itching so spiritually I feel like that's this is someone being nosy like trying to see what it is that you have going on yeah these people are being haunted like I said like there is going to bother these people like it's especially from the past like people are going to regret like I said this in this season elevation requires separation this is a season that people are going to wish that they had treated you better oh wow oh wow it's almost like you're unforgettable like this is almost the energy of you or someone that spirit hid in plain sight and now that you've let go of these people you release these people they're being haunted thank you for the confirmation spirit they're being haunted by memories of you they are they're in regret regret it is says is it is only when you let go of the past that you can make room for something better to come along like i said like you're choosing a different path right it's like i was old in with the new but these people are being haunted by the thoughts of you like they see you rising and it, it, it bothers them that you are on this path without them these could have been people um you know there's a, there's a, a a phrase that goes whoever counted me out can't count like these people couldn't count because like these people probably coined you for being little to nothing like these people looked at you as a nobody like you may have been um the sheep of the family the um black sheep but you know it's it's amazing how the black sheep they always turn out to be the goat right and this is what's bothering people so like i said this could be family friends or lovers like i said black sheep of the family so these are family members as well look healing conflict like the healer heals herself mystic healer you have healing you have healing conflict and you have mystic healer you have healing here twice also with introspection when you introspect you do shadow work that's also 
you know healing yourself you also here is it's a sword like the ace of sword the sword is truth spirit is saying that's the truth you're understanding your own truth it says resolving conflict in love is not victory or defeat it's reaching understanding and letting go of your need to be right disagreements anger clashing views fights right so you at this time you may be clashing with certain people or you know um i hear like they're just doing things that are not aligned with your aligned with your values right so it's stir it's stirring up it's causing you to to rely heavily on your own truth like staying true to yourself it doesn't matter what everyone around you is doing what what feels good to you what feels good in your spirit your soul someone is having trouble with the, that fact as well that like i said that you're out here celebrating you're out celebrating and now they finally have to face truth that they caused this separation or you know like that they're facing truth that they didn't when they treated you well when i'm sorry they didn't treat you well when they had you and like i said this could be family friends this could be old jobs um you know this could be anything right um so I, since i do feel evil eye energy here let's go ahead and pull from this haters exposed deck let's see what these haters around you are up to because clearly you know it still feels like you're light because if you're a mystic healer if you're a healer you have a light around you right um you have gifts um and oftentimes your light disturbs people's darknesses, people who live in darkness, people who have things to hide. So let's see. I'm hearing your haters are going to be exposed, even if you don't know who these people are. I'm hearing, um, I was going to say is. So even if you don't know who this person is, or even if you don't know who these people are, in due time, these haters will be exposed. They will expose themselves with this shorter truth here. The truth will be exposed. And they may come to you and tell you like, hey, I miss you. I, you know, I effed up in the past, you know, blase, blase. Um, they're going to have to reveal this truth to you. What else? Or simply they're going to be exposed, right? They're going to show their hand. I feel like if you are, if you're able to see these people, um, you pretty much know, especially if these are friends, you know, you'll notice that like, you post something. They don't show no love on your post, you know, or you, but yet you'll see them in everybody else's posts. People like, you know, random strangers or even people that they have talked about to you. They'll be, you know, like leaving comments or showing love. But then when it comes to you, um, that same energy is in return, right? Those are haters. It says collecting dirt on you. So clearly they're snooping. Like I said in the in the intro, snooping. Someone is snooping, trying to get information on you. But the thing about it is, the only thing that they're realizing, right, is that you're the truth. That you are the truth. These, these, I feel like these people, these are people that's trying to catch you slipping. And it's so crazy because they did you something. Like wow, how are you out here tar targeting a divine of divine being, and you did them something to them? These people better be careful about this type of energy that they're sending out. You know, like you have to be careful how you handle people in the three D because you don't know how they rank in the five D. You don't know who these people's ancestors are, right? It says an ex is hella jealous of you because you're doing better than ever. Like I said, when this season is going to cause people to wish they had treated you better and return to sender backfire on them like so make sure you're doing your return to senders right because i feel i do feel heavy evil eye energy being sent your way um so wh whoever sending negative energy to my collective and myself spirit guides universe send that back to the 10th sender tenfold also make sure you are um taking your spiritual bath you guys if you don't have any please purchase yourself some sea salt to take your sea salt baths you can put black salt under your bed or at the entrances of your home um, your home vessels to ward off any evil energy. Make sure you're doing your return to senders as well. Wow, this is crazy. What else, spirit? What else? It says your inner energetic come up drains their demons. So like I said, like it bothers these people. And I was going to say, like, if you have the, the ability to see these people, you you'll be able to see it in their face. Like there'll be dark circles around their eyes. Like their energy would just be heavy. Energy doesn't lie. Like you can feel this, you know, like your energy would not cause you not even to want to be around these people. Listen to your body because your body will reject things that aren't for you. This could be people, places or things. This could be food. This could be anything. Um, fake spiritualists. So you may have people around you that are masquerading as you. And like I said, the only thing 
thing they're uncovering is that you are the truth. So if you are a spiritualist, you guys, um, some people around you may be, you know, trying to tarnish your name, calling you fake, getting people to turn away from it, what it is that you are, what you do. Um, they may be trying to convince people that you are on the darker dark side and not a light worker at all. If you are a light worker, but this person is crazy how they um they they are targeting you and telling lies about you about you being a fake spiritualist but they actually are the fake spiritualist and all they've uncovered is that you are the truth they know you're the truth but i'm hearing like what i'm hearing is um they want to be as good as you but they just don't have it because this is something that comes from within this is something that you were born with mystic healer intercession you were born with these gifts you were born with this you know, you have some people who are just, they dabble in certain things like they learn from YouTube videos or modern day spirituality. Like, you know, these per piece I hear being led astray. Um, oh, wow. What else, spirit? It says a hater is looking to pick a fight with you. So, huh. You may have someone that wants to be in your energy, but this person is jealous, right? And, you know, oftentimes misery loves company. So if you have people coming in trying to pick fights with you, this is because these people are, they are blinded by your, by your glow up. Like you are glowing up and these people are blinded by your glow up. Like they can't take your light. It, uh, your light bothers their demons, right? It says they can feel your come up. Yeah. And this is why. This is why, like, they want to try to um, bring you back down into their vibration, right? But these people are low vibrational. These are people who are in their low vibrational energy at this time. This, these are people that are acting very karmic, you guys. So just be wary of people coming in trying to knock you off, knock you off of your pedestal. Divine feminine energy, empress energy, emperor energy. Like, don't let these people bother you. Look, they will disappear when shit hits the fan for them, right? So, that's what I'm saying. Like, once you, you stay in your energy of high vibration, you know, because when, when someone can't reach you, um, when you no longer resonate, you no longer vibing in the energy that they're vibrating in, they'll eventually fall off. These are just people, they're, they're clout chasing. They're using your name for clout. They're trying to get your attention. Anything that they can do to ride your coattail. This is what, what they're, um, this is what they're doing at this time. This is real sad. Uh, this is crazy, y'all. This is just a little sage in, incense. So let me go ahead and ward off this evil energy this snooping ass energy you have people that are snooping around on you guys like even if it's just on your social media or they may be riding by your house or seeing what it is that you post um it's almost like they want you to mention their name for clout i'm hearing clout like these they, they want you to mention them they can't they see you getting all this love and they can't stand it right it's like because people like people you your light is it's like radiation to people that are drawn to you, right? And it's like, you'll hear people say, um, some people have to talk about you because when they talk about themselves, no one will listen. Like, these are people that don't have anything interested, um, interesting going on. It says they can't stand your creativity it because it shows they lack it. So, like I said, these are people that don't have anything going on. But it also says they are being punished for their wrongdoing. So, if you know these people are they're falling apart their life is falling apart they don't have anything to lose um i'm so i'm sorry they're losing everything this is why so because because of their wrongdoings these are people at this time that are they're reaping their karma and also like i just said build a bitch major copycat so these are people you have someone around you that wants to be like you if you'll notice like they'll you know they'll try to coin a name similar to your similar to yours or they'll try to dress like you or like i said fake spiritualists especially if you're a spiritualist you'll notice these people like now all of a sudden they're spiritual they're putting evil eyes in their bio which don't get me wrong you know everybody it's, it's okay to have something to believe in but make sure it's something that's from the heart right hmm wow so you have people that are watching someone in particular because it says build a bitch major copycat someone in particular that is watching your every move in an attempt to recreate what you are and here we are they are recruiting haters right so like i said they're trying to get people to think of you in the ways that they think of you um because your energy is so high your high energy pisses them off they can never be what you are who you are or what you are and they can never touch you right I hope this helps you guys. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.